I am Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. You know, for a number of years I had a Yesu FT897. I really loved that radio, but it was starting to show its age. In addition to that, you know, I had a, uh, a really nice, liked it a lot, made a video about it, an ICOM IC7410. Really nice radio. But as I sat there and looked at it, I realized, you know, after I got the 897 sold off and to a good new home, I couldn't take the 7410 with me. I, I just wouldn't. It's a 22 pound radio. It's massive. Uh, and, and it has a very high current drop, well in excess of two amps on receive. So this got me all to thinking, hey, why don't I sell the 7410 and get a more modern, compact, somewhat transportable base radio that I can listen to every day as I work away in the home office as I do, uh, doing my day job, and still be able to take it out to the field. Now I narrowed my choices down to a couple of different models. It was either the FT991A, which I had owned previously, or the FT710, which you see behind me here, making my choice obvious. What, what isn't obvious is that when I went to buy a 991A, there was no stock in Canada. So it, the default choice became the FT710. And I'm not at all sorry that I bought it. But my, my focus now comes to, does the 710 make a good portable radio? Now, up until several months ago, I would have told you unabashedly, no. The current draw on receive is way too high. If I take a look at my gone FT897, which drew something like 600 milliamps on receive, the 710 and, and the 991A and many other current 100 watt radios, they draw all anywhere from 1.5 to well over 2 amps on receive. Uh, now, what's happened in the market is that the price of lithium ion phosphate batteries is plummeting. It's coming down and, and it's going to continue to come down in the next few years. I ended up buying a 100 amp hour Life PO4 battery and I paid about 315 Canadian dollars for it. Now converted to current US currency, that's somewhere around $230, maybe 240. Many of you have ham radio accessories that you might not use all that much that cost more. And so the price of a long lasting battery for a 100 watt radio coming down the way it has, and with the future prospect of them coming down even more, very likely over the next few years, puts rigs like the 710 back into consideration as portable radios. This, uh, this is that while talking, yeah. So 73 is back to you for the final. Uh, Victor Echo 2, Zulu, uh, Victor Zulu. It is one you okay, over. Uh, KJ5 CQN. KJ5CQM, loud signal, this is M7 DMO Mobile. Good afternoon, the name is Jim and I'm in Wyoming, over. I'm greetings from South Europe, from southwest of Spain. K7 Quebec Yankee Yankee, Echo Alpha 7 Juliet Zulu, thank you Mike, 73. Yeah, 73 Carlos, good luck. Uh, good luck, uh, thank you. Echo Alpha 7 Juliet Zulu, calling the X10, over. The audio, loud, clear, listen. I've come to expect this from Yesu radios. CQ, parts on the air, CQ, parts on the air. This is Kilo Echo 9, Alpha Kilo Sierra, we're calling CQ, parts on the air. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. We got Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, QSL. QSL, QSL, got you 5 9 in Ontario. Fantastic, I have you 5 9 here in Indiana as well, 5 9 in Indiana. Uh, 73, thank you so much for the contact. Now you may take a look at this radio and say, hey, it's too big. Now it weighs about 12 pounds. Now I, th I think I'm a little bit high on that. I think it's close to 10 pounds. My FT897 weighed around the same with the external bolt-on tuner and the FT710 has a built-in tuner. Uh, it's also got a big, beautiful color display, the 710 does. 
uh, and, a, and, and an extremely highly rated SDR receiver that ranks something like number four on the Sherwood charts. So it's a really capable unit. If you take a look on EHAM and elsewhere around the web, you're going to find that there's an awful lot of happy FT710 owners out there. CQ Bar, CQ Bar, Kilo 5, Delta Golf Video, Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike, uh, full player, 5-9. Gotcha, 5-9 into Ontario. Thanks for the activation. Likewise, thanks, Ontario. Tell the next one, 70. Here's, here's an interesting thing about the 710. You, you know, I, I read the specifications very carefully and review a lot of things before I pull the trigger on a radio. One of the ones which is near and dear to my heart, because I live in Canada, I live in a northern clime. What is the temperature range, specifically the low temperature range as specified by the manufacturer? Well, the FT710 is only rated to work well down to freezing, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. So that's a consideration for me. I'm not gonna be able to pull it out and do a lot of winter time operating with it. Cajun 5, UIW Kilo Delta 5, Uniform India Whiskey calling CQ Poda. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mike. You are a 5-5 five five into Texas, a 5-5. Five five. Very, very coming through just fine. Hey, fair enough. I got you in here at a five and six. Five and six into Ontario. Thanks so much for the activation. Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate you hunting it down. Thank you very much. I've got the backlight turned all the way up and it's a reasonably sunny day. It's, it's partly overcast, but I'm having no problems at all with the screen. The screen is fully readable. Victor Echo 3, Tango with you, Mike. Thanks for the call. 5959. Hey, I got you a 5-9 into Ontario. You're booming in, my friend. Thanks for the activation. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the call, 7 through. Now, one more note about the 710. And why did I buy a 710 as opposed to an FTDX10, which is, of course, an excellent receiver? That boiled down to a few different considerations. The first and foremost was money. Uh, right now in Canada, the FTDX10 sells for about 25% more than the price of an FT710. In addition to that, the FTDX10 is a larger radio, a heavier radio, and it actually does have considerably higher current draw and receive. Where this one draws somewhere around 1.6 amps in receive, the FTDX10 draws somewhere around 2.2, 2.3. Papa X-ray Zero, Florida, Florida, QRZ. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. 9 Alpha 3, Bravo, Whiskey Papa, 5-9. Thank you, QRZ. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey Mike. Uh, Tango, Whiskey Mike, 5-9. Well, there it is, my first activation with the ASU FT710. You know what, I really like this radio. I've had a chance to use it for a couple months in the home shack now. I find it very intuitive, unlike some recent Yesu examples, and I'm thinking specifically of the FT891, uh, and even to some extent, the, the 991A. But that's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3, TWM.